Hi, it's Martin from Made by Marley. Welcome back to our channel. Today, you've got me. Um, Leo issued a challenge recently where she said, you know, she was basically saying, you know, anybody can do this. And um, so she volunteered me. And um, so here I am. And uh, when Leo told me that I was going to be doing this, I said, okay, yeah, great. I'll, I'll do it. All right, what piece of furniture can I have then? You know, which one of your pieces can I take and do my thing on? She wouldn't let me anywhere near any of it. So I've been given this, this gorgeous little drop leaf table. That's the lot. That's my lot, basically. <laughs> so, um, you know, let's have a look at what she's given me. So drop leaf table, same on both sides. Um, it's quite nice, you know, um, needs a good clean. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a good clean top to bottom. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down, put it on its back. Um, and I'm going to give the underside and the legs and everything, two coats, uh, two good coats um, of, I haven't decided what color yet. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> That's me, I'm back again. Right, so I've, the piece is currently lying on its back. I've cleaned it within an inch of its life and this is what i'm going to be doing with it um the color for the undercarriage is going to be annie sloan's scandinavian pink Lel is finding it very difficult not to burst out laughing behind the camera and i've got prima uh, redesign decor transfer rose and rouge Get in touch from my feminine side um i've got apparently this is called a motler brush and this is a flat head brush. So transfer will come later. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give all of this undercarriage two good coats of the Scandinavian pink. I'll be back soon. So you'll notice I'm, fetch I'm wearing a very fetching Lowe's painting coat today because I'm probably going to make a mess of myself. I might make a mess of my piece as well, yeah. Um, I don't really have anything to say other than this is the first time, obviously, that I've ever done anything like this. And the whole point of this, yeah, I've undercoated things for Lel before, um, but, you know, that's it, basically. I get told what to do, um, you know, that color. And, uh, and then she takes over from there. So this is a good, this is a new experience for me. And Lel is hopeful that I, get the bug or something and i'm all of a sudden you know there'll be both of us regularly i don't think that's going to happen but <laughs> <laughs> and 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 i'm not going to let you sit here this is something that Lel would say you know nobody's got time for that you know you're not going to sit here and watch me paint this thing because it is going to take me some time but um it'll be i'll but i'll do a nice job of it um so yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, I will. That. I'll do nice of it. So in a minute, I'm going to click my fingers and it will be done. So th three years later, <laughs> I'm still at this. This is only the first coat as well. <laughs> Mucho respect, I think, um, to all of you uh, girls, a few guys who, who do this. Um, and I can totally understand how you lose hours and hours and hours with a paintbrush. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yes, this Lel's just chirping away in the background. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this, finish this coat, dry it, give it a second coat, and then we'll go from there. So after many hours, <laughs> felt like it anyway, my... Um, my undercarriage is done. <laughs> now, I learned something very important in this process. Second coat, water spray. It makes the second coat go on a treat. I've, I've watched Lel do this hundreds of times, and I never really appreciated it until I just did it. It's br brilliant. Get one of these. I think we do that. <laughs> if you haven't got one already. Anyway, so... That's the underside done. I'm just going to show them. Okay. Lau's just going to show you. They can't hear me, but 
this is your undercarriage. This is this is my undercarriage. Because Lau was trying to speak loud enough. Anyway, right. Moving on. Top. <laughs> so, Lau's having a hard time containing herself in the background here. So, my transfer. Uh, Rose and Rouge. Um, Lau's <laughs> very generously. Let me pick my own colours here. So, this is my transfer. I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I've seen Lau do hundreds of times before. I'm gonna cut this up and arrange this around the outside of the piece. Um, so that's my transfer. This is the colour that I've chosen. It's Amsterdam Green, another Annie Sloan. It's lovely, beautiful colour. So I'm just going to tidy up this, get this out of the way. Um, and I'm going to be using this brush here, which Lau has given me. Um, I don't know what, it's a round brush. <laughs> and this I've been told to do the cross hash, lots of different directions. Um, Lots of, lots of texture, um, and so that's what I'm going to do right now. So, as I said, Amsterdam green, and just I've watched, watched Leo do this a thousand times. Did I go that fast? <laughs> yep, you do go that fast. <laughs> so, Leo's just been telling me what I'm going to be doing with this tomorrow um, when this is all dried, and I'm going to be doing something called frottage. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting <laughs> i think it's got something to do with water <laughs> it's the wet cloth one that's it yeah <laughs> so i'm just going to go on and give this oh yes that's something else that lel confessed while i was crawling around on the floor Paint in the legs of this table. Um, it's it's been sitting in her in her storage for quite some time. This table, and she confessed that the reason why she gave this to me was because she couldn't face painting all those legs herself. <laughs> so the fix was in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go on and give this two good coats um, of this beautiful green um let this dry overnight and we'll be back to do the frottage tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> hello we're back again so this is dried overnight and what i've done here is i've just dropped the sides down so i can get to these edges there's a little bit of build up in the paint along these edges here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm basically I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper to knock some of this back, and, and then I'm going to fill in, you know, paint in these edges here. Two minutes, that'll be done. So, frottage. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had a speed lesson in frottage. I, I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to give it a whirl. Um, uh, so what I've got here is I've got a couple of cloths. This is going to be my wet cloth. This is going to be my dry cloth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mix of the pink paint from yesterday, the, the undercarriage. I'm going to make a, a mix in this little pot here, add some water so that it's got the consistency of milk. Um, these are the brushes from yesterday. I bagged them up last night, so I'm just going to use these. <laughs> All right, Lel bagged them up last night. <laughs> um, Anyway, enough talking. I'm going to get on with making this mix and we're going to see how it goes. Is that enough? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> now, you're making it milky. What's your table for? I'm going to need some more water, apparently. 
sí, sí. Oh, Martin, I think that looks marvellous. Yeah. So that is just the right consistency. <laughs> okay. it's, like, it's like I've done this before. <laughs> right. You've mixed it up. It's nice. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, there you go. And that's probably enough for the table. I think that's enough for the table. And this, according to Leo, is probably just the right amount for the whole table. You don't need much. You don't need much. We can always mix it. No. Put your spoon in just now. That's it. And so, wet cloth. Now, I want to make a you know, a pad that I can pat and you know, dab down on the table with, but I don't want it smooth like this. I want it like, well, how did you describe it, Rose? Like, 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 a, like a messy rose. Yeah. It's got to be a thin neck fiber cloth. And it has to be a, a thin um, fiber cloth, not, a, you know, nothing with texture on it, unless you want texture. So, Yes. Yes, we're going to pause while I get ready. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to work in small sections. I'm just going to paint this mix on. Oh, it's a bit thick. Oh, it's a bit thick. Hang on. So this is one wet cloth. I'm going to need a wee bit more water in that week. Aha. That's, that's what we're looking for. Try and make a bit more water. Right, that's it. Take it off your edges. Now. This time round, you're going to add more water to your mix because it's way too thick. So I'm adding quite a bit more water to my mix because <clears throat> it was way too thick. Sorry, just start your brush. Okay then. There we go. Okay, slap it on now. There you go. Oh. oh, no. Okay. Right. Back over that piece. Right. I'll go for it this time. Don't need to spray it this time. That's the boy. That's it. Now, less mottled and more, like, when you come back here, dry and start wiping some of the yeah. You can rub some of it away. That's it. Tell them. I'm not particularly worried. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not worried about my edges because I'm going to be putting gold on them. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing away in the background going, say this, say that. <laughs> you have to tell them what you're doing. So, does this look good? Uh, give me this and give some of it a bit of a wipe. That's it. A bit of a wipe. That's it. That's, that's it. Perfect, right? Not too much. Right, okay. Carry on to your next section. So I'm going to carry on repeating this over the whole tabletop. Now I'll look like a white. That's 
that's it. We are doing great now. Got the bug. That's it. So I'm obviously an expert at frottage now. <laughs> <laughs> and so now give them a little look here. Look, this is what this is how it looks so far. Uh, I'm not so sure. I'm going to be repeating this all over the tabletop. So come back in a minute and it'll be done. <clears throat> so I think I'm getting the hang of this now. I've got an interesting technique. I kind of put, I'm kind of putting a little bit of paint, you know, where I want to get close to the edge and where I want to get along this seam here. I'm putting a little bit of paint down there so I kind of go over into, you know, I bridge that gap or I get, you know, I don't, I get close to my edge here. Lel says that I'm doing really well. You are, baby. Amazing. Just remember your lines are used. Yes. Tell them that. I'm to remember my lines. What? No, tell what them when they're doing this themselves. <laughs> Quiet, you don't have big oh yes, right. Let, well, that was just reminding me of when I applied this. When I'm working my way across the piece, you know, I do a section here and then I move over to here and I do another section here. Where the two join, you can end up with a line. So what I want to do is I want to try and blur, feather that out and blur that line there. And what kind of finish is this? And this is an oldie worldy finish, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I quite, I'm enjoying it. I like it. I like what the effect that it's having. Um, you know, because this is going to be, and this is going to, you know, we're going to, we're setting the scene for what comes next with the transfers and things. So I'm enjoying this. I like this. This is good. So nearly done. Just going to move this around a bit. And I'll be back in a second. Da -da. So this, I like this. I really like this. And Leo thinks that I've really got an awesome technique. Apparently, I kind of abandoned the, uh, you know, the rough, the rough rows, and just sort of started throwing it at it and things. And it, it worked. You know, it really did. There's nothing to be afraid about with this. This. It, uh, it gives it a really nice effect. It looks like it's been around for generations. It looks like it's had all sorts of things happen to it. And it's just a bit of milky paint and some old rags. <laughs> Doesn't get how good is that? <laughs> 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 it's like I've been doing this for years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a heat gun on this now, I think, and dry this off. Um just because we're in the stable, and then we can start thinking about what we're gonna do with this marvelous surface we've created. So I have mixed up this color. Well, I didn't mix it up actually. Lel me, <laughs> Lel mixed it up for me. But so this is the this is the transfer, and we're going for this sort of color here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the edge, the all right around the edge of the piece with the palette knife, setting a scene here, up, down, bits all over the place. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. I'm just not straight. And uh, well, you'll see what I do in a second. So I'm just getting a little bit of paint on my palette knife. I'm framing it off so it's coming down to touch the edge. 
there's this, like, these words are my own, isn't it? <laughs> too much, too much. Palette knife take work takes time to get, and I'm not an expert, but you know, hey, you I'm trying. You're setting the scene for your transfer. I'm setting the scene for my transfer, Lel says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about this, but you know, hey, it's the first time I've used a, 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 a one of these scrapers, palette knife. Too much, too much again. Right. Okay. Leave some gaps. I As you could probably see from what Lau was doing there, <laughs> down here and then up here. Uh -huh. So it's not so heavy. So it's not so heavy. Yeah, that's perfect. This yeah. is perfect. This isn't. <laughs> no, but this is going to be covered in a transfer, so it's okay. It's just a little bit heavy here. I'm coming around the other it's side. Heavy. Yeah. It just takes time to, to get. Down here and up here. Uh, and then kind of join it in between. Yeah, and down at the bottom. And then keep going down, down for a while. Then up for a while. And then up. I don't know what you're doing. Down <laughs> and up. I'm not sure about this, but I'm sure it's all going to come together in a minute. Yeah, perfect. It's just a little bit kind of primitive at the moment. Well, that's what we're going for. Primitive? <laughs> We're not going for primitive, we're going for creative. I mean, right. Okay. A little bit of this. I think Leo, Leo thought, I know what I'll get him to do now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit down the bottom. That's it. Perfect. Now, don't go, you don't need to go higher than that. Okay. <laughs> Leo sounding frustrated with me now. No, I'm not frustrated. It's just that yeah, I keep telling you, you don't have to have it all the same height. And right now, this is you don't you don't want it all the same height. You want short and small, short and small, short and small. Short and small, short and small, short and small. She says. <laughs> It's looking lovely. You're doing a fabulous job. Right, you're going to get on and do the rest off camera. So I'm going to get on and do the rest off camera. I think I was just being too yeah, gingerly with it. I didn't have, I've never done this before. So I didn't really kind of, I didn't want to dig into the piece and I didn't want to be too rough with it. But I think, I think the trick is to not be rough, but you know, do scrape. spread it i'm getting more in my groove now basically yeah it was that's fine okay it's, it's just going for it now with no fear you're trusting your process yes oh. i'm trusting my process basically <laughs> 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 oh, it's, it, this is this is one of those things where I've seen Lel do this a thousand times, but there's a whole world of difference in trying to do it myself. Um, but I am having fun, yes. So, there you go. I'm liking this, actually. So, I'm now going to spend about a week trying to dry all this paint, and then I'll be back with you. Okay. So, this is all dry now. 
took a little while and I had to make, I'll be honest, had to make a few adjustments, had to do a little bit too much paint on here, had to take some of it off, but I really like this texture now. So, you know, what did Bob Ross say? You know, happy little accidents. <laughs> so this is all, that feels magic, this does. Um, so transfers. Um, Lo and I have been discussing this. Lo showed me what she, her thought process was, was on this one. I showed her how I would do it on this one. And so now I'm just going to run through it with you in terms of, because I'm going to cut this out and then I'm what I'm going to do, now Lel wouldn't do this. Lel would just go ham on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all these pieces and then I'm going to lay them out around the piece so I get all my spacing right and things like that because <laughs> I've never done this before. So <laughs> I've never applied a transfer before either. So we're doing this together. So I'm just going to literally, you know, I'm just going to find the sort of elements that I like. I'm, we're not using these blue flowers. So I'm just going to go around it, find all the different elements that I want. Big ones like this one here. And I'll half that. I might go that way, I'm not sure. So you get the idea. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna make you watch me do the whole thing. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just going around, marking out all where where I'm gonna cut it. Um, if you, so Lel's just saying. I don't know whether you could hear her, but if you've never applied a transfer before, can't imagine you haven't. But this is the top sheet, and the transfer is underneath. So it doesn't matter that I'm drawing on the top here because I'll cut this out doesn't matter what is on the top here basically it's not going to come out on the piece so i'm just going to go on finish drawing around all these things and then spend the next 10 minutes cutting it all out and then the next time you see me they'll all be spread out around the piece and looking like i know what i'm doing <laughs> she's not she's refused to help me i have to do this on my own so wish me luck <clears throat> this is my layout so as i said before this, Lel would wing this, but I I kind of need to visualize where this is all going to be. So I think top tip, top tip this is. So <clears throat> I think I'd better just dive in. So <clears throat> let's start here. Back, you need to take your back off. Take your back off your transfer. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so, with your transfer, you need to sit back. They can't hear you. Okay, so because I've never used a transfer before. They're tricky little things, aren't they? So, <laughs> there we go. Right, now, positioning is key, trying to keep flat edge. Try not to put your fingers on the transfer. Right, now, there we go. Get a good smooth down first. So, I'm just smoothing this down now. And then, I've seen Lel do this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. And when it starts going opaque. I would start down the flat edge. Down this edge? Yeah. Well, I haven't flattened that yet. This could take some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to take some time, I think. Uh, right, now, is it coming off? Yes, it is. Right, now, start gently. 
then in. Yeah, you should probably be able to, if you go over everywhere else, it'll just probably all come off in the one I know. Yeah, just, that's you. you. You've probably got it, baby. Gently, gently. I'm sorry about this, everybody. Yeah, you don't my love. Now, yeah. Follow your transfer over to so that you can burnish it into your piece. Turn it over so that. So there's that. Oh no. Because the black lines will come off if you do that. That side. Ah, uh, this side, the opaque side. Yeah. The frosted side. I had a frosted side and burnish it all in nice. That's it. There we go. Fabulous. Now you just have to work out what you're going to put beside that. So you're going to put. Oh, well, this was this was going on like this, and. So this one's going to join on there like that. So you need to have it kind of together, so like this when you apply it, so that it looks like it's grounded, it's going somewhere. Okay. It's to flying out in the middle of nowhere. So kind of yeah, that's it. That's that's it. I think, oh, what I'm, I think what I might do, yeah, what I might do, is stick them all on. Stick them all on first, and then the, the problem with that is if you've got a little bit of plastic underneath here, you won't be able to get it up beside it. You know, it's not like one big transfer. You know, you're gonna. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. You, you see what I mean? Okay. But there's no fast way of doing this, babe. It's just. All right. Well, I think rather than you, you know, you poor people. Watching me <laughs> having to endure my ham fisted way of doing this is I'll just, you know, spend the next four hours doing it and Lel can just drop in every once in a while and see how, how I'm progressing. <laughs> so she is. <laughs> that, you know, that purple color that she mixed up, for that I mixed up, that she mixed up. <laughs> Over there, it's being used. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll get cracking with this. And see you in a minute. It's tricky because the way I've cut all these out, these transfers have um, like a, a border around, around a halo around them, and uh, and where I've cut all the patterns out, where I've cut all the patterns out, I've cut through that halo on on a lot of them, so. When it comes to sticking them down, um, you know, I've lost some of the halo. It just doesn't make it impossible. It just makes it slightly more challenging and a little bit more difficult sometimes in terms of getting it off. Um, Lel should have maybe told me that before I started. I'm going to blame her for it. <laughs> so um, I've literally got from here to here to do. So I'm just going to finish this off now. and And then... We'll get to the next part, which is probably going to be sealing it, I should imagine. Yeah, probably. Some accent colours, maybe. <laughs> Some accent colours, maybe. Um, and then sealing. So, yes, just a wee bit more of this, but I'm not going to make you watch me, because it's taken a while. <laughs> so, it is done. That took that took me ages. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Lel's really really painted about four things while I've done this. I've done two coats and pot covers. <laughs> um, so what have I got in my hand? I've got a self-sealing sort of lime colour paint here. Um, and what I'm going to do is just because this transfer has got these vivid greens, you know, here, 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 you know, here. I'm just gonna just just slight touches, just you know, just sort of here and there and you know just to just I'm just gonna go around the piece and just try just pull these greens in. And that's what I'm gonna do there. So I'm gonna run round it. And just do that there. <laughs> run, literally yeah, run around run, it. Run around just, it. Just running. Yeah. Uh, this is a 1500 grit sandpaper. So really fine. Almost like a rock blanket kind of type sandpaper. Um, and what I've done there is just 
I've just lightly gone over some of the bigger, well, not, not just the bigger ones, but on most of the transfers just to bed them in. So I've done that as well. And after we've done this, after I've put my green on, then it's uh, it's sealing time and we're, I'm going to be using um, a French chic sealer and it's the tough top coat. It's the it, This stuff is really tough. Um, it's going to have two coats of that, top and bottom, um, and that will be it. That'll be it. Will I be? Will I be finished? Will I? Oh, still got <laughs> oh, and then I've got to stage it, obviously, and I've got to do my little piece to camera. So, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. I'm just two gonna. <laughs> two, well, maybe it's like longer than two minutes. I'm gonna two run. Hours, two hours. <laughs> okay, two hours. I'm just gonna do my little bit dots of green around it, um, and then seal seal it all up, and um, and I'll see you at the finishing line. So, it is done. The gauntlet was thrown down, I picked it up, and this is what I have created. And if I don't say so myself, I'm quite pleased with it. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, cross my heart, I did this. Lel was there, obviously, to help me out with those questions and things like that. Intuition. Just a little bit of pointers here and there. Um, but yeah, um, and what's the lesson learned? The lesson learned is go for it, do it. There were there were points throughout this. I was talking to Lel earlier, saying, <clears throat> so for example, my frottage. Um, you know, I don't know if you could see it in the video, but when I started, um, you know, I was quite kind of, you know, I wasn't sure, but I wasn't confident. But as I progressed, as I got through it, I, you know, I started gaining in confidence. And at the end, you saw what I was doing. I was throwing the cloth at it and things. You know, uh, same with the transfers. Never put a transfer down before. First couple of transfers, a little bit iffy. <clears throat> but as again, as I progressed, started laying them on top of each other and things, it's getting right in there with my transfers. Um, so yeah, um, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> I hope you have anyway. Um, it's been, a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a journey and it's, it's taken me a hot minute as well. It's, it's taken me quite a while to do this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if it was down to me, we'd have no business because this is taking me <laughs> like, you know, yesterday evening and all day today just to do this little table. <laughs> but I'm quite pleased with the outcome. So, uh, so yeah, so I've, I've been Martin uh, from Made by Marley. If you've liked this video, um, please consider liking it. Uh, if you're one of the many people that watches our channel but hasn't yet subscribed, maybe, you know, Hit that subscribe button. Um, and uh, what have I missed? You're so much better at it than me. I'm <laughs> what, I, what have I missed? I, 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 <laughs> what have I missed? The bell, the bell. Oh, yeah. Hit the bell notification if you want to see more videos. And and please leave me a comment to tell me what you think of my effort. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've been Martin from Made by Marley. Um, thanks very much for watching. And you'll see Lel next time.